having uh, sorry a lot of languages which have a lot of codes for their different purposes right so why exactly we use python like any guesses anything whatever you know just say it mm -hmm. Hmm. I just got a message. Can we use Python to analyze data? Analyze data. Uh, you have studied R also, I guess, right? There also yes, you sir. analyze data, isn't it? Yes, sir. Hmm. So, analyzing data is a different part. Yeah, that makes uh, much easier in Python. But, uh, that that is not like uh, even the codes are smaller than other languages. Codes are smaller than other language. Again, that comes in simple semantics. All right, so that's a uh, basic keyword. Yeah, exactly what it is. That what you have said. Uh, Anush is saying it's it, it also has predefined codes for better convenience. Okay, yeah. So every other languages, whatever the languages most prominent, most used languages, whatever there are, has a very specific roles basically what we say okay we don't say like this is a very important language don't learn this don't learn this okay we would prefer say you like if you are if you want to code faster that's it right if you want to code fast you use python that's it okay if you want to work on ios apps you have to use swift like that right if you want to work on backends you'd be using java like for games you'd be using c sharp simply like for your APIs will be using JavaScript, right? Similar to that, right? If you have to code faster, then Python is the best language for that. Isn't it? What comprises of all? Simple codes, normal languages, modules, okay, predefined uh, words, right? All that. Okay, clear. <clears throat> Yes, so sir. installation I guess is very easy with the Python if not then again I'm just uh, giving it see what you have to do is you have to go to python.org okay if not if you are not going to all these places what you can do is you can go to your whatsapp just check the group description there you will get uh, some links okay click on that you will be headed toward a folder where you have anaconda 32 bit 64 bit you know python 32 64 You'll have a lot of things over there so just you can download it from there itself or else you can come here in the download section for windows you go guys go to the windows for mac os guys you can go out there for linux you can go out there okay so windows like if i go here 3.9.1 is the latest release right from now okay so you can go for here or uh, what i have uploaded is 3.6.5 what i'm having in my windows okay okay here you just scroll down you can go to this embeddable package or directly see 32 bit what i can see here is there yeah it's better bhavish you can see if you can yes, get it from yes, sir. okay just try it once all right okay uh there it is yeah no then again, like 64 is there. Okay, you can go with this. Don't install the web installer, Intel installer. Don't go with all this. Okay, this will face your problems. Okay, You'll go, you are going to face problems from there. So 64 bit and 32 bit, you can just go with here. Okay, once you are done with this, what I am preferring you to go with Anaconda or you have an option you can go with uh, PyCharm too. Okay, that depends on you what you are going to take up. Right, but I prefer to go with Jupyter because it will help you to keep notes. Okay. You can save things for next levels okay so you can just go to anaconda.com there you can go with the get started simple and download anaconda installers and in the installers again there are options 32 bit and 64 bit for 3.8 that is going to work on 3.92 right for now but uh, it's better like if you are going to install 3. Uh, it, it has also got some updates over there once you install there are some updates in anaconda right now okay so you can get it, things over there so you have to just install all these things all both okay or if you are going with the pycharm uh, pycharm i have uploaded but pycharm has also got an update so you can go with the pycharm download 
and there you need to download the uh, community versions okay that's one don't go with the professionals you have to buy it all right so this is an open source and this is of a trial mode all right like that so these are basically nothing but the ideas we'll be learning what are ideas okay how to work on there okay so once you install up these things it will be looking something like where is python yeah so this will be your ideally okay a launcher and once you are done with the anaconda and pycharm it will be looking something like this it has got updated right now so we'll go on later onwards for this okay so bhavesh you can go with this one okay and tell me let me know like if it is working out there or not okay yes sir i'm installing sir okay okay that's better all right so let me stop this presentation here uh i'm presenting what ppt to the right will be starting up with the things mm. right here mm. Uh, everyone can see the ppt yes sir yes so all right uh, so sir i am not able to see the ppt uh -huh. wait, wait just a minute how many cannot see Sir, me. Only one? Okay, you do one thing. Maybe some technical issues will be there. Rejoin it, okay? Yes, sir. Yes. Hmm. Where was I? In the PPT. Yeah. Alright, let's start. Today we'll be learning what is Python. Okay. What are the important features? Why we are going to use it? Okay. And the basics today and then we'll be heading towards like how your classes will be going on what are all the procedures for your how many of you have chosen for internships me sir yes. me sir me sir sir me now let me see one two three four is five six something everyone who hasn't chosen anyone uh, anyone better but i can see 14 uh, if i minus myself with 12 okay so 12 are there better see so what are the process let me tell you that you have to do some projects for getting our internship letters okay so two projects would be there okay as for the modules, you can select your own projects, but the modules are going with very some of the, you know, like some good projects names are there, but some of the interesting projects are also there. What you can do on your own if you have any good project name on your things, you can go with that or the ATM project, you know, like Google registration, Gmail registration page project, net banking projects. Okay much more uh, things are there so i would be uh, making you see how gmail registration okay how uh, net banking is going to work on how atm is going to work and next then you have to make projects on some of the topics of your interest or you can go with the things whatever they are given in the modules okay all right so that you have to you will be given some of a week time one week time all right so of a week time you will be getting where you can make up your projects and then you can submit it right after the submission it will be checked on and further proceedings will be done and then you are going to get your internship letters all right that would be the procedures any doubt with that no sir no sir okay better so bhavesh uh, is that installed 
So please repeat what you have said. I my my internet connection got weak. That's why. Okay. Uh, I said that you would be getting one week time for your like if you have chosen internships, right? So you'd be getting a week time for there to complete one project. Okay. Project names you can come with your project names. Okay. Or else there are project names given in the modules where you can go on. Okay. So you can go with that too, or you can go with your own name. So I will be making you. do some two projects like at the end of the sessions uh, like when your courses are going to be completed they will be doing some two projects over there for net banking atm and all okay gmail registration page how things are going to work on okay how to encrypt some things and a lot of things will be looking on so that will be doing and for your proceedings you have to make one project for your internship and you will be getting a week for there once you complete you would be uh, getting it rechecked and then you'll be getting a letters and how many of you have chosen for microsoft examinations to mt examination anyone sir, from here and, uh, sir i said uh, but uh, they told uh, at the time of session you will uh, get the forms uh okay okay that's fine but that's better but uh, how many you have opted for microsoft exam i'm just asking for microsoft exam anyone has opted or just for the internships only internship all right only i guess internship. two two three students are there in the group who has opted for microsoft okay so when you can see twinkle yadav she has opted some shubham sarkar okay so two three students are there who has opted for that All right, brother. So let me tell you about the exams too. In the Microsoft examinations, it would be like you would be getting thirty-eight. No, sorry, thirty-eight questions, and you have to solve those questions in forty-five minutes. Okay, so those will be basically MCQs, and probably, uh, obviously, I will be helping you how to solve the things over there. Okay, so once we complete our course, we are going to. There was no options in the site. Uh, it was there. Maybe it's not okay. It's not an issue if you want to opt for uh, Microsoft. You can uh, discuss in the group with the admins. Okay, you can tell them I want to opt for Microsoft course. They will be all right. It's not an issue. Okay. Yeah. All right. So examination things are different, right? You'll be getting some thirty-eight minutes. Uh, sorry, forty-five minutes to solve thirty-eight questions, and it would be like very fast. Okay, so you have to solve around for. 40 seconds to 50 seconds you have to spend on for oh, uh, hardly 50 seconds on one question okay those things are there okay all right uh, so let's go to our ppt uh, let's discuss what is python sir. how it works sir yeah. sir there is some noise from your side sir from my side yes sir hello minute. sir yeah uh, it is available now sir examination Just a minute. Yes, All right, it's fine now. Yes, sir. Hmm. Yes, sir. All right. So uh, let's see. Let's understand what is this language. Okay. So the understanding is what is Python, why it is popular, what are the features. and in industries when we are using this in real life uh, implementations then where exactly we are using what all are the learning path and the career opportunities what you would be having once you are becoming a python developer or once you have been learning python how to use it please uh, mute the mics we keep it muted all right okay so like at the very basic uh, introduction if we go python we say it has high level object oriented 
and an interpreted programming language which has garnered some worldwide attention now when we go with you know like interpreted word okay the very first thing now you all have been doing programming okay like c c++ something basics you all have done i see okay so i think you can give me a, a brief on what is a compiler and what is an interpreter anyone from your side can you just describe something and differentiate what is compiler and how the interpreter works Just in two lines, you can just go with that. Very easy things I'm just asking. Uh, sir, can I? Yeah, sure. So compiler means we uh, tell uh, uh, that the compiler uh, compiles a program uh, which has uh, which we have given instruction what we have to uh, what the uh, compiler has to do, and that the compiler uh, compiler do, and we uh, give the program out of this which we want. Mm, okay. And what interpreter does? Uh, it uh, simply interprets uh, what uh, uh, means uh, what the what we okay. want to so, interpret the word means uh, interpret the binary language. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. See, so you are trying to make it clear. Okay, that's better. See, what the thing is, you are saying compiler compiles the codes and the interpreter interprets the codes. Basically, right? The point. Okay. So the main thing, see, in the real life implementation, if I go, okay, and a very simple example I'm just giving you. Let's suppose you are writing a book, okay? Uh, like book contains you, in Word, you are writing a something book over there, and you are having around some, let's say, 300 pages, 400 pages, okay? So once your thesis is being completed, you can go for the spell and error check, right? Once you complete anything, you can just go and recheck is there any spellings or not. Right. So what is that process it's called as once you have completed everything, then you are checking. Okay. Meanwhile, if you are going to get errors, you are going to solve it, fix it. Right. Okay. So once you completed your work and again, you are going to recheck it and then you're getting your errors. That is a work of compiler. Simple thing. Okay. So once you write your codes, like in C, if you have seen it, once you write up your codes and when you run it, if there are errors, it will give you error. Obviously. Right. Understanding? Yes, sir. Hmm. So if you're having errors, you, you'll be getting it, obviously. Right. So in compiler, what happens? Your codes will be converted in the machine language. Right. For once, you can say. Okay. Once you write everything, the code will be converted. And in interpreter, what happens? This is the same thing. After writing one single line, you are going to check whether uh, is there any errors or not. There are any errors or not. Right. Simple thing. One line you have written, you are checking, okay, uh, there are any errors, no, like proceeding to the next line. If yes, then you are rechecking your errors and fixing it. Right? So interpreter and compiler are very simple definition that if you are writing 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5, so it will be completing the outputs and then checking whether it is wrong or not. Meanwhile, between the things, if you are uh, making any wrong sense, 2 plus 3 plus 4 equals or by something like whatever you use, which is not... Uh, fixing not, which is not fixing in that equation you can say will be giving you an error right so python works on interpreter and your c c plus plus this goes on the compiler basis right so clear uh, perception what is a compiler and what is an interpreter compiler is yes, going sir. to convert your codes for once okay what you are saying that it compiles the code basically it is going to convert your uh, codes in the machine language and that for once and interpreter is going to do that in line by line Okay, everyone is clear with that. Any doubts over there? I just write yes, it up. yes. Clear. Everyone is clear with that. Just write yes over here. Okay, I guess everyone is fine with that. Okay, so you know something about Stack Overflow, you are CS students, right? You might be knowing it. So Stack Overflow has found that uh, some 38.8 or you can say approximately 40% of the users, when they make projects, they use Python for it. Okay, 
and it has got like in the top most prominent language nowadays prominent like 2017 18 19 this graph is just going increasing right like java okay so uh, let's come to a ppt let's go with this okay. so in very simple words when we define what is python we say that it is a high level dynamic programming language which is interpreted okay and was created by van rossum sir in 1989 now when he was creating it or you can say when he was developing this he was having a very uh, simple goals in his mind that it should be very easy looking code okay it should be readable and should be open source. Open source, just I uh, made you saw like how you can just download any such softwares which are open, which are easy to download and to work out there. I'll call as open source. So sometimes you can even say those things as this, you can say it as to be floss. Anyone know the definition? Oh, sorry, the full form of floss. Mm -hmm. Free library open source software. Okay. All right. Excuse me, sir. So hmm. there's a question in chat chat box. Oh, it's coming. Uh, I'm just a beginner and don't know how to start, and I'm not understanding half of the things. You ask, what are you not understanding? Whatever you you are having problems, just ask it. Because this course is from the beginners, right? You have to understand everything from the beginnings. So I'd be explaining everything from the uh, roots, okay? So if you're having any doubts, you ask. You unmute and say whatever the problems in English, in Hindi, whatever formats you are compatible, just say. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Sir, actually in 12th class, I didn't have C or C++. Mm -hmm. So, but I have taken BTEC, uh, CSC. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know how to start coding and, you know, everything. So, okay. See, so you are now going to learn a language that is called as Python. A very simple thing I'm just explaining, okay. And the language, you know, there are some of the programming languages which are based on some different type of machines, some different type of, you know, conversions. So conversions we call as compilers, interpreters, okay? Like if, if you want to talk to a machine, how you are going to talk? There should be some common language with that within you and with your machine, which you should also know and machine obviously would be knowing it, right? If you want to communicate between two persons, there should be some different language, some unique language, sorry, right? So if you want to uh, communicate with the machines, we must be knowing machine language? Yes? Yes, sir. Right. So there are a lot of machine language for machine. This uh, talking with machines have got a lot of programming languages. Okay, that is nothing. New. Programming language is nothing but just language uh, with which we can uh, communicate with our machines. Okay, that's very simple definition of. I'm not going with the bookish things, right? Used to write up codes, compiles, and a uh, lot of things in the bookish language. Just, okay, so it's a very simple thing. If you want to communicate with a machine, you should be knowing of just a simple programming language with which you can talk to your machine you can give commands to your machine your machine can respond to you that's it very simple okay so you are learning one of the uh, programming language and the one which is very 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 important nowadays okay that is a python language okay c is the basic language what everyone studies the very first language okay then it comes c sharp then it goes with javascript php css so these are not the languages okay a lot of things are there Okay, so 38, 39 languages are there. You'll be getting it in the PPT somewhere around here. Just a minute. Mm. Here somewhere you'll be getting it. Where it is. See. Python, Java, JavaScript, C Sharp, C, C++, PHP, R, okay, TypeScript, Matt, Kotlin, Go. All these are there. Okay. And you are learning Python, which is the prominent one. Uh, this graph is of 2020. Okay, right. Should be learning better things. Okay, so this doubt is clear. What is a programming language? If you are new, right? I think this would be clear that what is a programming language, what you are going to learn. Okay, so with the use yes, of sir. this language, what all things can be done, right? What all things can be done with the use of this language is 
just amazing, right? I'll just show you a glance before going to the PPT, so that you'll be ha having just an interest as a beginner you are, right? Just a minute. Mathematics background, how many are there? Anyone? I guess everyone. Yes, sir. Yeah, yes, right. sir. Very good. Okay, uh, just taking for an example, okay? Very simple thing. Like with this language, what you can do, okay? So I guess everyone is a beginner in this language, right? So just showing you some basic uh, and interesting things. Just for example, how many of you like differentiation integrations? Me, sir. Me, sir. Hmm. So I don't. I don't. Very good. You will like math. Okay. Anyone more? No? All right. No issues. See, uh, in Python, you are going to do a lot of things what you haven't done till now, even with the subjects, right? There are a lot of modules. You can go with any one particular module to expertise yourself. Okay. Now let's say we are taking a very simple equation. Okay. Let's say x, there is an equation, let's say eq. Okay. And this is something like, you know, uh, some log x, okay, multiplied by sin x. So this is the equation, right, log x sin x. If I need to differentiate it with respect to x, what would be the answer? Very simple. It will take hardly two to three seconds to answer. Yeah. Simple thing, just I'm asking, right? If I need to differentiate it, what would be the answer? We'll apply some rules over there, right? In mathematics, what we use u, v, log x, then differentiation of sin x, then sin x, then log of differentiations, right? 1 by x cos x plus something. Here, see what, how easy it is. You just need to differentiate eq with respect to x. You'll be getting your answers. Oh, I have used some errors. Yeah. So this is the answer. Log x cos x plus sin x by x. Someone was there who was not liking differentiation, right? You have to find better here, right? Whatever the equations are, you'll feel easy to code. A lot of things are there. However, these are not in your modules, but still, I'm just showing you what you can do with these things. Okay, we need to integrate it. Again, the integration, what it leaves. Let's see. Mm. It's taking time. Something. Okay, let's take another equation. Let's say a simple one. 4x square plus 3x. Very simple. Okay, it's processing just a minute. Read on it. It's still taking time. Ignited. Okay, so this is my equation 2. What is the integration of this? Is this so simple, right? 4x cubed by 3 plus 3x square by 2. Very simple things. Okay. So like this, lot of modules are there where you are going to work on here. Now you would be thinking, what is this going on? Right? What is this place? This is nothing but Anaconda, what I said you to install. Okay. So for those who have joined now, what you can do is, you can go to the web, anaconda.com. There you can go and install it. However, the procedures, you can just WhatsApp me. I'll tell you again. All right. So let's see what it comes. So it is connecting uh, some of the modules what there are in Python. And you are not going to get this on web. Like you are going to write up uh, modules of Python. So what are you getting? Python modules. Something like something's better, right? A, B, C, D. So how to create a module, how to write up these things. Okay. All these some um, false things would be getting okay then uh, python modules index then one by one like with a what are the modules with b what are the modules with c what are the modules with d what are the things libraries and all okay here you'll be just writing help of the modules and you'll be running it you'll be getting all the modules whatever they are okay okay 
So very first thing, I guess to said, I think you are clear with this that what you are learning, okay, how it is going to help you, okay. So where exactly you are uh, aiming to work in which sector you are aiming to work on? Chain rule, or oh, yeah, for the question. Yeah, Sid, in which sector you are just uh, willing to work on later on? Let's any like perceptions. Anything, sir, like data science, uh, data analytics, mm -hmm. anything. Better. So if you are willing to work on data science sectors, you should have a good knowledge on modules of pandas, you know, on Matplotlib, Seaborn, NumPy. Those things are better. Okay. All right. So good choice. Data science. Nice. So I guess that might be completed. Yeah. So see, there are modules now. Crypto, C Python, I Python, Prob. Okay. All, all these are Python names. Sorry, module names. What you'd be learning. So I just uh, took a module simply right now. Okay. You we can see here from S. Where is this S? P Q. Where is S? The top. Yeah, here. See, uh, we took just a module of simply. Similar to this, like if you are going with data science, you know, you can go with a lot of things. Okay. And in data science, the most important thing, once you are learning all these things, and the very important thing is, the more you go with the data visualizations, the better it would be. Okay. Visualizations are the best part. Once you are good in visualization, everything is good. Okay. So let's go to our PPT. Let's understand what the things are. Okay. All right, so uh, till here, I guess things are clear. Okay, and it's my favorite language and I, I prefer this for work because you know features are like it is simplicity Simplicity sorry simplicity powerful libraries are there. What you just saw as modules. Okay, a lot of things are there and Simple semantics what we said in the very first. Okay, so you may be like an old school coder or maybe a completely new to programming sections. Okay, Python is the best way what I suggest to be get started because the normal codes what we use here is like how the way we used to communicate. That's a very simple thing. Okay. All right. So, uh, excuse me, sir. Yeah. So I had a question. Uh, sir, are modules same as uh, packages in our programming? Mm, yeah. Okay, sir. There you have to individually, you know, like to download it from the like something in the right hand side. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We have to install it. Some, some here in the here you have to just write every other package what you have to do. So things are same over there. Okay. That is completely used for analytics. Very good for analytics. Okay. So let's go proceed here. Okay. Now if you are working with Python, why I suggest it? Because you can work with this on PC, on laptop, on mobile applications, on web applications even. If you are if you are any outside if you are in outside places, okay, and you want to code something, you just go to web, open collab, open kaggle, open uh, uh, what is that website name? Jetup. Okay, anywhere. Just open and code over there. It's simple. Even if you are not your uh, phone applications, right? Your uh, mobile obviously would be not having Python. Okay, you cannot install it. But in the web, you have things over there. You can work out there. Right. Okay. So we will see some features of Python right now. Okay. Uh, understanding all the things over there. All right. So Python provides uh, all these features, what you can see, simplicity, open source, portability, embeddable and extensible, interpreted, I just uh, discussed above, okay. Then libraries are there and then object oriented things, okay. So in the simplicity, what do you exactly have to think of that? The codes are more important, okay. So only focus is on your codes, nothing else like in C, C++ having any, you know, like, uh, you know, focus on storage and the rest of these stuffs. Here, you the only thing you have to focus is just the codes. Okay, what you are writing and what you are going to get. That's it. Nothing else. Okay, just want you want to give some inputs. You want to make computer some learnings. And you must be receiving some outputs like that. Okay, then it is an open source, which say that is a very powerful language and is free for everyone to use as an alter. Right. And in portability, what we say that the codes when we write, if we again go to here, if you see here, 
you have an option to uh, where is this convert to download as something okay first the download options are there like in pi and this on okay and then convertations options are there if you want to convert some things okay if you want to upload any other different file okay so if you want to convert the things you can convert it here in the pi charm you can go and directly you can convert from there from you know like uh, python to json to xml to csv to html okay like let's say if i'm having i'm just uh, scraping a data see it's very simple how to get a data even if you are not having on the pc you can just write this code you will be getting the data so let's say uh, we are scraping titanic data okay titanic ship data that how many passengers survived so i will just saying df is equals to uh, just a minute Okay, I'll be just taking it. Don't uh, go with this what this codes means, right? These all are not right now to made you learn. Okay, so don't go with try to understand right now. Okay, just see how it is working. Today is just an introduction. We'll be going with the codes tomorrow. So SNS dot load data set of Titanic. Okay. I'm just looking onto the two samples. Let's hope no errors. Oh, very good. Spelling error. Yeah, better. So what you see is there is a data set, right? Which say survive, which say P class, which say sex, which say age, which say sib SP, nothing but sibling and spouses uh, who are traveling in the ship, parents and the children, how much fare they have paid, what from where they have embarked, as for Southampton, right? There are so uh, basically this is a data, right? Right from here, if you want to see that what all are the cities, what all are the places from where they have embarked, how many males, how many females were there, that we can just identify from the sex, right? How many males and how many females are there? So you can just go df dot sex dot value counts. A very simple code just I'm writing, okay, guys. Just see it how it works. So it says 577 males, 314 females, okay. Now you can see a visualization what I said. This is the one thing what I'm saying. See, it says the graph, 500 plus males, just females, okay. So these are the things. Now you can convert this. Now this is the data which is in the uh, format of Python, right? See, it is having 891 rows across 15 columns. Now I want to convert this, I want to save this data, right? This is not in my PC right now, guys, okay? This is where, this is something from where I have loaded, from where I have loaded it from Seaborn. Seaborn has pre-installed some data, okay? So this is not in my PC. I want this in my laptop to be saved on. So what I'll do is, I'll, I can just convert it. If I want in CSV format, I'll be uh, saving it something like, I'll be taking data.csv. I want it in HTML format, I can just take it HTML, uh, data.html, something like this. And you can see this in your directory, you know, like how it is going to work. See, data.html. All right. So see, survived P class, sex, age, siblings, spouses, parent, children, fair, embarked, class, who, all these are like an HTML. Now you can just think of like, if you go to make an HTML table, how many of you have done HTML in previous some, Me sure. right? Yes, sir. So you, you might be knowing that if you need to create a table in HTML, how hard work it needs, right? Yes. Writing up all TD, TR and all, right? And this is having 891 columns, sorry, rows. How much time it will take? And see the speed here. You can just easily convert the things. And once you, you can convert, you can download it. Again, it's a very simple task. So let's say if this is my data, where it is, data, dot csv where is this here so like data dot csv i need to download it i can just simply download see excel file which is being downloaded and i'm opening it hmm. so it will be open all right simply you can download your html file and it's very simple you can share you can write in json file okay so it's opening and this data is now in my laptop Okay.
So you can share, you can work with this, right? So these are the things. Okay, let's come back here. So you understood portability. Next, embedded. Right, now this codes can have snippets of other languages too, okay? Uh, for, you know, like to perform some certain functions, right? So other languages can, you can uh, bring codes from other languages, C sharp, C, like that, okay? And you can convert things and then you can write those codes here. In the Interpretations, we understood, right? Next is the huge libraries. That's basically uh, usage of data science, you can say. Huh? But if, if you see here is SciPy, NumPy, Pandas, Matplotlib, right? SciPy, uh, sorry, what is it? Simpy, yeah, Simpy we just took on, huh? okay? So these are the things what it will be going through, okay? In the library section and in the OOPs, right? In the object-oriented programming, so what do you say as OOPs? Basically, their objects help you down to uh, break down some complex real life problems and then you can make it on the code and you can solve it to obtain some solutions okay so when we sum up all these features whatever we see here we say that python has a simple syntax it is readable and has a great community support okay now where is these things are being used now whenever you search something on google just for an example again let's go to the google let's say uh, for whatever you are searching on like Kaggle, okay, Kaggle.com, or let's say Kaggle is the thing. I'm just searching Kaggle. So what I get? Some 58 lakhs, 50,000 results in how much time? 0 0.42 seconds, right? So all these websites, what they are, are having something. What they are having? they are having some of the keywords related to Kaggle, right? So we are getting the result as that, right? So search results are being given and those are done using some of the sortings. Okay, rankings you can say. On. Next is your Dropbox. Here the server and the client applications are coded. Okay, simple things in the IoT sectors, if you have been working over there, you might be getting it. Okay, next is, uh, the Amazon Web Services, okay, or any such e-commerce websites or any ads, what we say is that something like artificial intelligence, if you might be knowing it, right? Like sometimes if you go with any ads, okay, or based on your interests, okay. Today, just only I was searching on my uh, Instagram, okay, I was just looking on uh, the things, like uh, where are these, okay. So I was having a look on my keywords. If you if you go in your Instagram accounts, you'll be getting it, right? That what all are the interest. So I just saw that uh, whatever the ads and whatever the things I so I see in my account are based on these interests. What uh, Instagram just uh, I just look onto the account and just saw this all. Okay, so we can check yours. So what all are the interests based on what you are getting your ads? So all these were the interests. Okay, on basis of what I get the. Uh, ads and all right so now these interests are like once you see any video for some longer duration or any post whatever you are liking and uh, different different factors okay based on that your interests are being made on okay so that's a different thing in netflix what happens there is a method once you um, you know create a username or once you sign in in the netflix it will ask you to you know like uh, select three of your choices of your uh, movies of your shows right so based on your genres and you know like uh, different factors features like if i'm selecting horror movies right so my column will be filled off horror movies if i select three horror movies netflix is going to make you see make me see all the horror movies like almost 25 30 45 all all the columns of my screen will be filled up with the horror movies let it be any other languages Bollywood, Hollywood, whatever you require. Okay, so these things are done based on a method called as clustering. And that is uh, being learned in machine learning. That, that is a different thing. Okay, and that comes in AI part two. All right, uh, moving next. Next is the NSA of uh, USA uses this for like for cyber security analysis, the encryption and decryptions. Okay, for that this is being used over there. And in the BitTorrent, if you have seen, if you have downloading something over there the files what you see the peers to peers transfers those are done again using the python and if we go with the calculation parts 
there are modules like numpy there are modules like scipy there are modules like uh, simpy right so these are being used for mathematic purpose scientific calculations which can be done just within some seconds great calculations can be done very quickly okay so what should be a learning path is you will be having a great hands on python basics okay you will be uh, understanding the variables you will be understanding the data types their operators the arrays the flow controls okay the methods how you are going to learn okay and the file handling parts the most important how to handle the files on the webs okay and again practice questions and oops okay now there are career opportunities once you go through the things right like software developer senior software developer devops engineers data scientists okay so those who are willing to work in the data science sector can go with the ai part data science okay as a data scientist as a data analyst data engineer right okay data designer right so things are there okay and if we go with the salary purpose you know like financial things on the python how you are going to get paid if you are working on some particular job roles okay so you can just see like in india the average salary for a python developer is around something 500k right as compared to the us it is right dollar 989k that's nearly way high as compared to things okay all right so that also works like once you are having this was the experience okay how much experience you are having on the particular field you are working on you are having one to four year of experience you are going to get paid around 500k plus you are having of 10 years of experience a decade experience you are going to get 1 million something around okay right two decades would be given to 2 millions something like as a normal uh, average salary if we just come uh, calculate the things okay and in india if we see the working scale okay so the work scale goes very good in the gurgaon sectors in the bangalore new delhi pune mumbai where you are going to get a good average salary right because location also matters if you are very good in data scientist as in data science okay and you are working in a very low sectors obviously you are not going to get yourself improved improved and not also your works and your pay skills are going to get improved right so if you are having a good knowledge you should also work on a very good sector or a very good location that also matters as compared to the california you might be seeing that uh, here 1900 job posts are being available every next month okay and salaries you can see on there it's quite quite good okay now something is like skills which are again important now you are a good python developer okay you know python language better and with that python language what next skills are there what you know okay like aws like django like machine learning cloud computing ethical hacking linux operating linux okay api workings uh, working on js working on jet right these are the skills what are important now if you are having python knowledge if you are having skills then those are things are better right understood so these things are there any doubts in the complete ppt yeah right a lot of questions i see uh per annum means every year okay yeah so clear with the things any doubts till here whatever we have started hmm no sir no all right uh okay stop presenting